Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Management. And today I'm going to talk to you about your Facebook newsfeed. It's only going to take a few moments, but before we get started, I'd just like to say please make sure that you subscribe for our future videos which have tips, tools, and resources that you can use to grow your networks. And also, please make sure that you rate this video at the end. I will also love, love, love if you left a comment below and let me know what you think of today's video or any of the videos that are posted. I have lots of videos that are in the mill and they're just waiting to be edited and posted out there for you guys to view and to learn some social media tips. So make sure that you subscribe to the videos. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Now, what I want to talk a little bit about is edge rank and edge rank pretty much is no more. It's been gone for a while and um, but there is still an algorithm that is running in the background on your Facebook feed. Now, you may have waken up in the morning and you checked your Facebook feed and you noticed that the status posts at the very top is from hours ago. And if you have a lot of people in your feed, you know that there's just no way that that could be the last one. And I'm going to show you why. Facebook actually has a default on the on your feed and many people don't know it they don't change it but it's important for you to understand how the feed works so if you're running a business and you have a page you kind of can adjust uh, by looking at your insights of course and checking your statuses and measuring how things are working for you um, this piece could be important to you now um, if you look here right here where it says sort if you hit that drop down menu there is two options one is top stories and one is most recent the top stories is the default for your facebook news feed and that's how come the the, the information coming through looks old but is relevant because uh, of the algorithm that's running in the background which i'm not going to go into i don't claim to be a facebook algorithm expert but um, it's it's based on a few items and that could be an affinity score edge weight time decay those type of things like I said I'm not going to go into those but if you want to see the most recent news in your feed of course you're going to select most recent and as you can see it changed so most people have um, that default on there where the top stories come up instead of the most recent feed. So this could affect the way that people see your status post as well. And this is a, face, a smart office helps Facebook page, but let's go over to my personal page. And it works the same way, basically. So if you look here, it has top stories and most recent stories. So right now the top story is showing up. And if I hit the most recent stories, it changes. And so you want to make sure that you have the, well, you can set it any kind of way that you want to, but it's important that you understand exactly how this works for you. All right, and that's it on the news feed. If you have any social media related questions, please leave those in the comments below. Once again, please make sure that you subscribe for future tips, tools, and resources to help you, help you grow your social media. And also, please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. All right, go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day. Additional social media tutorials are being posted weekly. Subscribe for future updates so you don't miss out. You can also check out past videos. I encourage you to share them with your friends, followers, and fans.